boom. Hello world in TypeScript. It's actually so easy, a caveman can do it. In all seriousness though, it's really easy to do a hello world in TypeScript. In fact, it's so easy that I'm gonna show you guys not just how to do that, but may as well just go ahead and show you guys how to do or deal with primitive data types in TypeScript as well. With that being said, to do the hello world, you just need to use console.log and we could just throw a string in there. And if you guys want to know, the syntactically proper way to write a string in TypeScript is just open and close single quote. Technically, depending on what compiler you're using or whatever your configuration is, I don't know what the right word is here. Whatever your configuration is, you, you probably can get away with this. I know that on this machine I can, but on other machines I can't. But just to keep it quote unquote proper, we're gonna do open and close single quotes, all right? And we'll just say, hello world, semicolon. Let's go to the terminal. Let's compile it, TSC, TypeScript compile. Now let's go to the run and debug. Let's run this guy. And there you go, hello world. Since that was so easy, virtually so easy, nobody probably got any value out of it. Let me actually show you guys the three basic primitive data types in TypeScript. And let's just start with a string. So in TypeScript, what differentiates TypeScript from JavaScript is the word type. TypeScript is going to be more syntactically strict when it comes to doing basic things that you might be used to in JavaScript, like declaring variables. So for example, in JavaScript, you might say, let first name equal Josh. Although I'm not getting an error here, this should be giving me an error. You see how it says it notices that it's a string. In TypeScript, what we really want to do is we want to explicitly declare that, hey, this first name variable right here, this is going to be of a type string. And how do we do that in TypeScript? After you go ahead and instantiate the name, you want to do a semicolon space and then type the name of the type. So string is just S-T-R-I-N-G. Next, we got number and it's the same thing, folks. So let's say let age semicolon number equal 999. And in this case, notice the difference between the number and the string. Well, the string is in open, close, single quotes. So forget single quotes, guys. And the A is just a number. We don't need to have any kind of quotes surrounding it. Finally, we got Boolean. Boolean's pretty easy. Let is amazing. Semicolon Boolean. And guys, of course, we know that I am amazing. Duh. So that's going to be true. And let's do this, guys. Let's actually do a console log of all three of these and let's also throw in a type of in there so we can see, hey, this is of type string. This is of type number. This is of type Boolean. So I'll say console.log type of first name. Actually, guys, let's make it super cool. Let's be extra over here. Let's do, this is, this is how we'll know. This is how we'll know what's the type and what's the value. We're going to go ahead and put type colon comma type of first name comma value comma first name. All right. So basically when we do this, the console log should say type. And what type is first name, guys? It's a string. So type string and then value. And what is the value of first name? Well, that's going to be Josh. So type string value Josh. And let's just do that for all of them, guys. Compile it. Run and debug. All right, what do we have? Type string value Josh. Type number value 999. Type Boolean value true. There you go. Hello world and TypeScript plus primitive data types. I'm going to be doing a tutorial series on TypeScript now. If you guys want a video on how to set up vanilla TypeScript in Visual Studio's code, let me know because it's actually a huge pain in the ass to do. So if you guys don't have a sandbox already or some kind of IDE or environment for TypeScript, I don't know what you guys are using and you'd like to use VS Code, let me know. I'll go ahead and put the effort in to make a video on how to set that up. If not, don't worry about it. Just type in the comments. Yes, please give me a video to do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue on with the tutorial series. Boom. That's it. See ya.